I keep coming back to that cop I just killed and what he told me. I was pretty steamed about what he'd done to Lucille, so I took my time with that son of a bitch. It wasn't until I showed him all those pieces of himself that he said it. Just a name. Patrick Henry Rourke, man of the cloth. Could have become president, but he chose to serve God. And along the way, he just happened to become the most powerful man in the state. He's brought down mayors and governors like they were nothing. He even made his rotten brother a U.S. senator without breaking a sweat. And here he's gonna get killed in the name of a dead hooker. I'm getting used to the idea. More and more, I'm lacking the sound of it. Then it hits me like a kick in the nuts. What if I'm wrong? I've got a condition. I get confused sometimes. And with Lucille dead, I can't get my medicine. What if I've imagined all of this? What if I finally turn into what they've always said I was gonna turn into? A maniac. A psycho killer. Can't kill a man without knowing for sure you ought to. I've gotta know for sure. The merchandise is on display by the time I make my way to Old Town. For an hour or so, I ask around about Goldie. I don't get any answers, but I know I'm bound to. Lucille said Goldie was a hooker. And if she was, she has roots here. Friends, maybe even family. You can't be Goldie. Goldie's dead. <laughs> 